It's Age Forsaken here, and today we're looking at our very first Primal Clash action figure with Dino Wrangler. Of course, we've seen this action figure before. We're going to be able to open this up in a minute. But of course, these are showing up at your local Walmart, so be sure to check them out. The Dino Wrangler comes with uh, our favorite army builder, and of course, it looks like he has a sword. And there's a gun on the back, as well as he does come with his regular weapons. Just to make sure we're, we're still, of course, Leonard, all new dinos, three sad onions. So, of course, you see the whole bio is here. The back of the card, you get the, there's four different ones. There were only two left in my store. The only ones left in my store were, in fact, the Sabertooth Tiger and the whatever that is, Trimetrodon, uh, with, you know, but I actually would have loved to have got the Raptor or the uh, Titanus as well, because, of course, this guy was the one I wanted the first anyway, because he reminds me of He-Man. And uh, it's like He-Man and the core had a baby. That's what that reminds me of, the tiger being ridden. And then, of course, uh, this also wanted because of the very close connection, the very similar similarities to, like, a uh, in Final Fantasy creature, that sort of thing. Really cool rider to have. And then, of course, the raptor is also awesome. Riding a raptor would be awesome, Jurassic Park style, even better than Jurassic Park, because he didn't ride the raptors, because they would eat him if he did. Um, he just rode beside them, so really uh, great options. I didn't like that dinosaur as much that uh, Titan is actually on. It just obviously um, not as cool. <laughs> I mean, it's freaky looking, so I'll probably get it eventually all the same. But uh, I also want to look at these things that are on the back. So I'm really interested in that as well. Of course, these are you know primal under the Primal Clash uh, for Walmart. Uh, overseas has come out as, uh, of course, the Jurassic Clash. Uh, and, of course, we're still waiting to see if we get those little sets that had the you know smaller dinosaurs and more accessories for the figures. That's what I was really interested in. As much as I love this and I love the creatures and everything, I'm really interested in, um, first of all, getting one of the bases because I've never got the rock. Even though I've seen it a couple times in store, it just wasn't the right time for me to buy it. Um, I'd love to get a rock. And, of course, um, I want those extra accessories like the bow and arrow and stuff like that that they showed off. So hopefully we'll get those. Hopefully Walmart did order those. If not, I want to know where they're going so I can get some. Anyway, uh, I'm going to pause the video so I can open this up. Okay, so I really couldn't see this behind the dinosaur in the package. There's a really cool picture of one of the bigger sets of, uh, you know, Titan riding the underwater uh, creature, dinosaur, whatever that's called, Megalodon or whatever. Not the Megalodon, that's a shark. Anyway, um... Really cool picture there, artwork there. So if you can get yours open neater than I got mine open, you may be able to save that artwork. Um, if I'd known that was there, I would have been a little more careful pulling that open. Okay, welcome back. So first, before I start actually looking at the figures and everything separately, um, make sure you pull your gun out because you could throw it away with the uh, packaging if you're not careful. But everything's still rubber band in place. First impressions, first of all, this is painted on both sides. So let's make sure, look, you got paint detail down to the feet, on all the feet, front and back. There is paint detail on the front, there's paint detail on the sides, and it is on both sides. Um, so the only thing, of course, there's no real paint on the tail. But it looks like that might be just how the creature will be naturally painted. These things are heavy. So 
of course, I was worried it would be kind of like the the George, not the George and the little George, but the George, the like the big Georges and stuff, where it'd be a little kind of thinner plastic or something. They were still well made, but they weren't heavy. Like this is heavy. Like I would, you could throw this at someone and hurt them. <laughs> don't throw that as don't throw this at someone and hurt them. Uh, you know, do not try this at home. So this is actually rubber band down in place. The gun is rubber banded into his hand, um, and that's pretty normal you know, for packaging. The sword is in the sheath. It does come out, so I'll be pulling that out in a minute. Um, I'm going to take this guy off here um, so we can look at the saddle in more better detail, and I'll start the video back. Okay, so welcome back, and let's check out our saddle here. You can see there are a, there is a pouch here. It does not open up, but it is very well sculpted to a detail. Hang out. Um, there is kind of a chain around the neck, and it is got a top part, so it's not super loose. It's not going to fall off easily, but I have seen where people have taken it off. So it's there, but it's not guaranteed to be there forever. The saddle can even come off. There's a strap underneath to take the saddle off. So that's good. So if you didn't want to have one with the saddle on it, the other side is exactly the same as this side as far as the detailing. You got the good, except for it doesn't have the sword holder on this side. Um, so other than that, everything's the same. This gun um, has a ball joint. So it can point all sorts of directions, which is pretty cool. But the only problem is, is that it's very loose. Like, especially when you get down towards this level, it's hard to make it point at that level. You might have to take it off there and put some gum tack in there, like a uh, poster tack. Or some, uh, maybe even just after you heat it up, you get hit, the, hit it with some, um, floor wax or something like that to build it up in there so that it'll stay stiffer so that you can point sideways. If you're pointing up, the weight can be shifted in such a way, especially at angles, that's not so bad. <clears throat> but if you're wanting to go straight out, it's going to fall. Now, of course, if you took this off of here, you could mount this easily on the side of a base or something. If it were pointing down mostly, that would actually be a normal position. And, of course, it could be automated or something like that, like a turret. Um, so this, like I said, is a good heavy um, creature. Let's see if I can take... Let me turn my light off and see if it helps get the detail. Ah, I'm sorry. <coughs> Let's see if we can get some zoom in and focus. So you got some detailing on the eyes. Teeth has it in the lips. Even the gums have their own paint applications. The bottom of the feet have paint. And then the claws have their own paint application. So you can see, like, there's a lot of great detail here. This is a very well made saber tooth tiger. Okay, so I pulled the sword out of the sheath and it did come out but it is pretty stiff it's almost like the top the very big part of the sword is almost just as wide as the sheath will allow at all and so you got to kind of work it in and out and once it's past that first part it's pretty loose so you could get some great poses where the they're pulling it out because of that now mine has some this is not damage it's almost like stress uh, the plastic stressing, you'll see that sometimes. So maybe I'll, I might, when I I might eventually paint the saddle and the sword sheath and everything to kind of hide that. But um, you can see the sword when it comes out has a serrated back end here, but it's also got like a bladed end with a point. It's got a back kick on the handle. Hang out there for a minute. And let's see. Now, it's in his hand, but it is pretty loose. Um, let's try the other hand. 
This is more like his pistol hand. Yeah, it's way loose in his pistol hand. So as far as fitting in the hand, it does fit, and he can kind of hold it for some posing. But, it, you know, it'll fall out of there pretty quickly. So just keep that in mind. Um, you may have to heat the hand up and tighten it up if you want it just for the sword hand. Like if you're not going to use it for the gun hand at all. Of course, the pistol went right into the sheath. That, I mean, the uh, holster there on the thigh. The gun does peg in the back, and it does stay in the back, unlike some of the other figures. Okay, so this was a seven dollar action figure. So if you if you really measure that versus what you're getting, you're getting it. basically this saber tooth tiger made by any other company would probably be ten dollars on its own. And you're getting an articulated action figure with multiple points of articulation. You know, surely you've watched my other videos to see this guy's articulation. Um, you're getting sci-fi, fantasy, all together, whatever you want. You could easily pop this off the back of this if you don't want to use this for a futuristic um, style um, adventure toy line. You could put another toy line on here and take that off and so that there, it's just a straight up fantasy. But this is more like in a lot of ways He-Man where... You had some technology and some fantasy. So I think that that's awesome. And if they read the back card on the, the storyline is really interesting what they've come up with. So I hope that you check out these Wrangler, these, uh, these figures. Thanks for watching. I think it's an awesome figure. It's definitely worth the $7. It probably was worth a lot more than that. Thank you for watching, subscribing, and pour on the plastic.